Orson's basically the tank right now. And he's going to take all of... He's going to take the whiskey bits. Basically draw out. But that would have done 8 damage to that one. Would have done 3 damage to him and he freaking dodged it. <laughs> so. I will have him take all the risky shots. I'm gonna have you use heal again. Cause you are still down 10 health. Right there. I know. Go ahead and heal you also. Uh, I'm gonna end it here because they can't move. Oh, I thought I would draw somebody out. Okay. Okay. We need to be here. Orson furthest out. Here. Somebody else, I actually don't know that. I don't think you can get that far, but somebody else can have an XP on that one. But fuck it, or some tank in it. I avoided him taking it a little bit earlier at the start of this. Now he's going to tank everything. Whenever you take out everyone who can't hit you back. <sighs> Kyle here. And Frodey, come on down. Crit hit. Still didn't kill, but it hit. So... And you're dead. You did no damage and you died. It wasn't worth it. Oh, I forgot about the mage there. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Six damage is not pretty. Okay. Watch your move. Right. What about you? So I'm gonna hit ring of and near him for you. Okay. Take you out. First and foremost. Oh, I forgot my okay, close up. Fuck me. Damn it. No. I keep remembering more modern rules, not the old ones that this one apparently works on. Oh wait, then Ephraim could have been fucked over by that flux. Oh my god. My brain is <laughs> not having a good time. Okay, I'm taking you out just because Kyle's a little need to heal again because I fucked up. Oh my god. Out. 
all it is. Okay. I don't think I have to worry about any of these right now. I'm gonna draw the man with the horses. And after I get him, and so they can go there. I don't think I'm definitely not going to leave the throne. Because my job objective is to seize the throne. He cannot leave it. Because if he leaves it, I can seize it without actually defeating him. So they never leave it. I wish they would. That would make it so much easier. Oh, hey, I can get him to run away over here. And then take it. Yeah, I could have done this first, but. It's also the nature of hit him first before he hits you. And you can steal sword. Steel sword. to kill him with him, but I'll see about trying to get that from the kill. There's more XP for killing bosses. Okay, what? I'm trying to remember how to open the menu that I'm looking for. Read it. No. Take the game, but since they're not, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Frey. Okay, this meant way better than I anticipated when I first saw this map. And when I first saw this map, I had a small little tiny heart attack because it is very intimidating. Okay, you can take out 12. Do you truly think you can take us with those numbers? Apparently, yes. I didn't expect to be able to, but apparently, yes. <laughs> and you hit nothing. You did no damage. I'm very disappointed. No, delete that one. And I just want to. He's not gonna get the kill. That's for sure. Unless I leave him here. And don't get the kill or something. But he does 10 damage. Triado, I can't, it can't be, were we merely pawns? Yes! Yes, you were! Absolutely, Zelda, you were a pawn. Which is 90% of the bosses in these games, leading up to the final. And you can't do that. 
Um, but you'll just go up and wait. Seize! Okay, we've secured the entire castle. You were brilliant, Prince Ephraim. What a plan, what a battle. I estimate at least half of the enemy troops are in the field. We took the castle, but we don't have the manpower to hold it in a siege. There's no point in lingering here. Let's continue on to Grotto Keep. Grotto Keep, where... Erica, that... Now? Prince Ephraim, things have taken a turn for the worse. I took a look around the castle perimeter. We're surrounded. Fuck. What? <laughs> Grotto sent reinforcements. So quickly? What should we do? We must escape. So did the... <laughs> oh, so you... You've captured Revan... Well, have... Renball. Well, have you? You must such a small force. Impressive. You've earned your reputation. I must say, I quite admire your work. I take it you're the leader of this pack, the misguided Prince Ephraim. I am. The general... Oh, Voltaire. Here. The moonstone of Brado's imperial army. Catching up to you has caused me no, no small amount of trouble. We've reduced your wretched home of Renes to ruin, and yet, you and your little band of Bravos continue to be a thorn in our side. But that all ends here. We'll see. You claim you've captured the cap. You claim you've taken the capital of Renes. Tell me, how did you know I would attack Renval? Patients will have their answer soon enough. Now be good lads and drop your weapons, will you? Prince Ep Ephraim, let us attack. Listen to me, Ephraim. You're a smart man. You know it's futile to fight me. You cannot win. You cannot escape. Accept the reality of your situation and surrender to me. Surrender? That's right, if you do, I'll let you live. And that's a bold face lie? Oh my god, that is such a lie. I hold your life in the palm of my hand. Do not test my good humor. The fact that you call it humor makes it seem more like a lie to me. <laughs> now come over here, bend the knee, and beg for your life. And when he bends the knee to beg for his life, you would have cut off his head. <gasps> I watch way too much Game of Thrones to be trusting. <laughs> Show me how Renee's stone scrawls. I think not. What? You said your name was Voltaire. Or didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, Voltaire. Er, but I don't have time to waste playing games with you. So, we're going to knock you off about... This. Okay. Old time odd speak is very odd. odd to talk. We're gonna knock you out about a bit and then make our way out of here. Fool, have you gone mad? Do you truly believe you can fight your way past my Weaver Knights? Watch and see. I don't pick fights I can't win. Kyle, Fro, Ore, are you ready? My life has been yours since the moment I took my sh chivalric vows. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's moment like the ease that keep me by your side, my prince. What idiotic riches you are. Orson is obviously that traitor. Prepare yourself to be destroyed utterly. We break to the east. Go. Save. And now we're just gonna be magically back with Erica, aren't we? <laughs> so who knows? Oh yeah, we're back with Erica. Okay. In our armory. Make sure everyone has 
can see one of the items. What do you have? I can see one. For a magic rat brothers. Okay, that's not gonna help you. The little ten and up oh, and troubadour. I don't think you're a troubadour class. No, no, no. Mage. Nanny. I think troubadour is like the next. I give this because you're not going to get your crucial. Also, don't think you'll need two foreign swords. Joshua, you need a iron sword because you have a 15 killing edge that is not going to get you much of anywhere. Increase the defense by two vanishes after use. Basically, you want to use stat boost, and honestly, if you use it on anyone, I'm going to use it on Erica. What is her defense like? Does not say. Oh, defense six. Natasha may be another one to use on because healers and mages have notoriously bad defense. Except for my archers. Oh my god. It's a shit defense all around. Erica actually has some decent defense in comparison to other people. It's the same as my cavalier. Oh my god. Okay. Let me actually give that uh, to you to them. Actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to it. Cause... Should something go wrong? I'm broke. So we're not buying anything. I guess we're going here. Okay, Erica suppresses her feeling, moves at that ease, and continues to search for her brother. Passing through the Seraphim, the group crosses into the Grotto Empire. From here forward, there is no doubt that they are walking through hostile territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble, Erica and company head for a sparsely populated region of Grotto. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Victims of War, Chapter 6. So tell me, you have your. You have ascertained Erica as whereabouts, have you not? I have. I've sent some of our men to follow. The princess, as she fled, Seraphim. They tell me Erica and her friends will be coming this way shortly. Our ambush is ready and waiting. There is no way they can escape. Like rats in a sack, as they say. Very good. Won't that wretched Voltaire be delighted? Now about this Princess Erica. I hear she's quite a handful. They say her paladin withstood Voltaire's lance. Because that's a badass. <gasps> Tell me, Nobala. Uh, are you certain you can handle this assignment? Don't worry, everything is under control. I brought along a certain something from Renes. It will negate whatever futile resistance they offer. Pray it goes as you say. Very well, do what you must. I must return to the capital. Will you not stay and see how Erica looks in captivity? Unlike two other landmarks I know, I do not have such time to waste. 
I have much to do for a man master. A mountain of tasks await me. My time is far too precious to waste on the light. I said that royal well. Fuck you. Trifle said, which of these are best left in the hands of servants such as you? Oh my god, you are such a dick! <laughs> and even he feels it! Oh my god! It's hilarious! Yes, of course, then travel well! Oh, that's so good! Freakish old man. Okay, yeah, say that after he leaves. <laughs> you should have watched you might have learned something. Yeah. I will capture the princess and I will replace you at her master's side. Less likely because your face is obscured by a hood. You're a special design, but you don't got much of a face. Which makes you less iconic and I probably will not remember your name. <laughs> You will soon regret, and I will enjoy your reunion. Eh, sure. 